One of the great joys of working for Paddy Mail TV is that we get to go out and meet all aspects of the community. It's not just all five-star hotels whining and dining. Today we're out by Lake Mapachan and we're at the Glory Hut Foundation. Now, about eight months ago, this was just a piece of uh, scrap land with one property on it. And today it's transformed into something quite remarkable. Joining me is Kun Ponsawan, right? Kun Ponsawan from the, the Glory Hut Foundation. Tell us, what is the Glory Hut? Uh, the Glory Hut Foundation is the home, home based care. Uh, we, we do the activities with uh, the patient, with HIVS. Uh, all, all the people who live here have HIV and it, it's gone to full blown AIDS. Is that correct? Yeah, positive. So they're all HIV positive. How many people do you have here? Uh, now 42. So today you've now got a number of new uh, houses and a lot of new rooms. How many people can you actually have here now? Uh, 60. 60. So you've got 42. So you've actually got room for, for more. So. Why, why do you have to do this? Why, why is, the, is the government, do they not help or? Uh, Padaya City Hall give, give us 380,000 baht per year. 180 per year, okay. And that's got to pay for what? Everything, food, accommodation? Pay for, yeah, pay for everything. What about the anti-retroviral drugs? But we need, we, we really need uh, two million per year. I bet. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> the, the, the. What about the anti uh, anti-retrovirals? Who pays for that? Who pays for the drugs? Uh, we not pay for the drug because uh, government keep drug free. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we use, we spend money for the food, for transport, yeah, uh, and help the people not have ID card. We try to help them because uh, if Thai people have ID card, can can get the ART medicine free. Yeah. And then, of course, they can get any other medical as well because sometimes they will get other, uh, I believe, other problems because their uh, immune system is affected. Correct? Yes. Okay. So tell me, how do how do you feel today now that you have all this support from the the likes of Padia Sports Club and TFI? How do you feel? We we very happy and we very proud because uh, Padaya Sport Club is very kindly for us. Come uh, come every every week because William come usually come to visit us and uh, ask us all, all the time what uh, what you do, do you need something like that and give us the food and many things that we need. Yeah, he, he they try to help us. Well, that's great. All right, so we're on TV now, so this is your chance. If people are watching this and they're thinking, wow, I'd like to help, how can they help you? Uh, if the people need to help us, uh, can help uh, when you have many things in your house and you not use, you can give us. Yeah. And if you want to uh, buy the food for us, okay, you can. Uh, you, you can do many things. Uh, you come to visit us and cooking for the patient, you can do many things. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not expecting someone to come along and give you a million baht, although that would be very nice. But people can just help a little bit even is good, right? Yeah. Good. I would like you now to, if you can, speak in Thai, pass a Thai, <coughs> and tell our viewers kind of what we've just said about the Glory Hub Foundation and how, the, and how Thai people can help as well. Could you say in Thai, please? ก็มูลนิธิกระทําพัสดุหรือบ้านพักรักเพื่อนนะคะเราก็มีความต้องการในหลายๆส่วนคือมูลนิธิของเราเนี่ยช่วยเหลือผู้ป่วยผู้ติ
Okay, well listen, it's very nice to meet you. We're going to speak to William now, so thank you very much and we'll see you again. Now, as Kun Bonsawan pointed out, this has been spearheaded by Paddy, a sports club, and we'll speak to William Macy, the charity chairman, in a moment. Now, joining me are two familiar faces in the community. It's Nick Creasy from Paddy Aralty and Nick Lawrence, who is a TFI member and is also famous for uh, Nick the Pizza. So we'll speak to you first, Nick. Uh, this, you, you came involved with TFI about six months ago, so how, how do you feel it's going? I feel it's going fine, it's going great, I think it's moving on all the time, lots of events happening, okay. lots of things planned for the future. All right, all right. And, uh, and, and tell us about what, what TFI did with Jesters this year. Jesters, uh, we organised a, uh, a fun area, we put some bouncy castles up, we had a clown there, face painter, mm -hmm. and uh, some candy floss. Okay. And it was, yeah, great fun for all the and kids. That, and that was all free, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was all free, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So... Nate, you you've came along to some of the the TFI events, like the the, the fun parties, the eighties nights, and such like. How do you feel when you come along to where the money goes? Oh, it's great to see where it's actually going, yeah. back to the roots and whatever. And you're seeing where it actually where it actually benefit at the end of the, end of the, end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, Nate, you from Paddy Aralty, you sponsored a couple of our events now. Um, you know, it's all money that goes into the pot. Do you think of that as corporate social responsibility or is it just, you know, helping little organisations like TFI? I think it's just uh, putting a bit back into the, you know, uh, to, to the people at, the, at these levels where they don't always get the help that they, you know, they need mm -hmm. and probably deserve. So from our, from our point of view, it's uh, well needed and uh, we're happy to do it. Okay. You're going to be happy to do it again? Yes, <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> All right, yeah. tell me, so how do you feel when you come along here then? Uh, you know, this isn't one of these, like the parties, the fun fun aspect of it. No, how do you feel? But, no, it opens your eyes and it's something that you don't see every day, especially uh, just going about your daily work mm -hmm. routine. Mm -hmm. But coming here is certainly an eye-opener. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, be happy to uh, donate something on behalf of... Patty Realty, yeah. or personally as well, so oh, no wow. problem. Well, well done. And aren't they nice people as well? You know, I mean, you know, here they are. They're they're all HIV uh, positive, and uh, but they're smiling. Yeah. We've got these wonderful colours behind us in their houses, so it's it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, the bright pastel colours. I'm sure that uh, brightens up their day when they wake up a little bit, which is uh, obviously something they need for sure. All right. All right. Okay, William's organised some food and drinks, so we're going to have a bite tea, and we'll be back as we'll speak to the charity chairman of Paddy Sports Club, William Macy. Stay tuned. Okay, now, as I said at the beginning, uh, this has been a joint venture, and the man who's been pulling it all together is our old friend, William Macy from Paddy Sports Club. He's the charity chairman. William, uh, this is, well, it's a village now. It is now, yeah. yeah. And, of course, one, once it's finished they have everything they can possibly need here. Um, and when you think of what it was when they first came here, the transformation is unbelievable. Well, you've got some photographs I in your hands here. Um, do you want me to show yeah, the, yeah, sure. the camera there? That is what it was, as you can see, totally over. Just enough to park a car, basically. Fortunately, they had some help from Nongpru municipality. Yeah who sent a tractor along and cleared the whole lot. As you can see, it's all gone. Um, they then, that's the first step. They then developed it from them, from their own men. Unfortunately, you need money to do it. And we were lucky enough, Patio Sports Lab, to know a few people, uh, TFI included, that have been kind enough to de uh, donate funds to this. And... Well, here it is, the most colourful village you've ever colorful. seen in your <laughs> life. I know. It's, uh, it's, it's, almost, it's almost like a tourist attraction, you know, like Mimosa <laughs> or something. Um, what? Okay, now, as I said, this has been a joint venture, and the man who's been bringing it all together is our old friend, the charity chairman of Paddy Sports Club, William Macy. Hello, Hello William. William, this is like a village now. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And once they've finished, uh, all 
all that over there will be developed. It's going to be great for them. It's going to be everything they can possibly need. Okay, now this started just a few months ago. Now you've got some photographs in your hand. In April. Uh-huh. And some kind gentleman who can moin his nose, he said, you can use the land, do what you like with it. But that's it. That's it. Just land. Yes. But fortunately, they contacted uh, Nongpru Municipality, who sent down a, a tractor and all the diggers, and they just cleared the whole lot. As you can see, there, there is none of that there now. So we had a, a, a clear plot of land, and then it was just a matter of raising money to do all the developments that you've seen here. Now previously, well, there's one house which we'll, we'll, we'll show a shot of. That was where they used to live, I believe. That was where most of the patients used to live. Is that correct or no, not? No, no. No, okay. no, that was just an empty house. Um, and the person that had it um, said, that's got to stay there. And what they've done, they developed it into a church, because this is a, a Christian organization. And they developed into their church, which they have services every Sunday. And I, I, as you saw, they have some music. And they just make the service on a Sunday a happy occasion. But no, that's where that, that isn't where they lived. Where they lived was over the other side of the crew. They had three very small houses. And it quickly became overrun with people who wanted to be there. Because I think this is the, somebody may correct me, but I think this is the only centre of its kind between here and Bangkok, which is an HIV centre for beyond 20 years old. Yeah. As you know. Because we often hear about you know children, like, like the Chameleon Centre or whatever, Chameleon which Center, of course yeah. is all very valid, yep. but we don't hear so much about the centres no. like this for adults. No, because I think this is the only one. Um, when I first um, went to see them, all they had was something that big there, and they had about 10 or 12 people there. They had to move, they found these three houses and quickly became overrun with people who got HIV and wanted to live there. And there's, that's what happened. They had to move out of the houses and live in the tents. And that was an unbelievable situation. Fortunately, that this gentleman who said, OK, well, do what you want with it. And this most colourful scene is what we've, what we've ended up with. Yeah. Okay. Now, I said it was a joint venture, so, so who are the different organisations <coughs> or people who have helped you? Because although Paddy Sports Club have brought it all together and you've put a lot of money in, yes. and, uh, and if you want you can tell us how much or whatever, but uh, who else has came on board? Well, we, um, we started, as you said, and that's the Paddy Sports Club um, up there. But then I've got a, a very good friend called Nigel Oakes and he has put in something in the reach of 180,000 baht out of his own money and made him smile because the toilets in the kitchen down there as you can see we put his name over the toilets so that, <laughs> that kind of made him chuckle so when people sit down and have a shower in there they can think of Nigel Oakes but right. he's a lovely guy and that's about 180,000 baht uh, out of his own money so generous. Then um, a guy called Walter Bolf died two years ago, left some money in his will and I said to his friend who's sitting over there, look what I would prefer to do, rather than buy a load of uh, rice, let's build something so it's always there, which we've done, which is down the bottom there, uh, and a generous donation from a company called TFI, who are you, you are very aware of, I'm very aren't you? Yeah, well, you are. But it's a great initiative. It's it's a great pleasure for TFI to. I mean, this is, you know, even before we set this up, this is the one thing I've, uh, from a media point of view, that I've admired that organisations like Paddy Sports Club work with other organisations such as Rotary, uh, the YWCA, YWCA, the the Chester Lion. Women with a mission, the whole thing, and now TFI. That I think in the last twelve months or so, that that has been the, the nicest part of this job almost. Um, I'm working with the likes of, and you're part of TFI, with yourself, with Woody at Jester's, yep. which you're very familiar with, um, YWCA, and this one here, one of our bars, the Growling Swan, uh, they've donated a lot of money over the last year, 120 odd thousand baht, and this is just one of their donations. And I said to them, okay, you've got the money, 
What about building a house? That'd be great. And now they have a very brightly coloured house, which they have paid for. It's phenomenal, and they're very sturdy. I mean, we can just see in the background here, you know, it's a proper proper metal framing, and it's uh, it's all, you know, it looks it looks business. Actually. And it's all work which they have done personally. They haven't had any builders, nothing. They had one gentleman uh, who is a builder, but he guided them on how to put this metal structure up. This is this is the proper way to do it. And <laughs> some more, she little lady down yeah. here you've interviewed she's got a very big whip yeah, right. and oh yes and uh, she's got all the all the people here up on the roof up on the top roof yeah. there up ladders digging holes they dig all this, the holes here. I mean, this is this is great i mean what a what a community spirit i mean in in every in every regard yeah. yes oh, this, this, this is something that the likes of uh, father ray have done uh, the children's home in needy decorating then rather get the decorators in, they have the children cleaning and painting because they're convinced that the, the community spirit, look, I did that. I don't want that to be made dirty. Sense of ownership. It is. And uh, I think it's a great thing to do. And as you can see, they really had fun doing the painting here. Really have. And it just makes it so cheerful and so happy. Well, William, it's it's great work as ever that you're doing, and you know you're one of the uh, well, I'll use the term colourful characters in in Padia because it's it's uh, it is great work that you're doing, and it's great that you can work with other organisations. And it, and from a TFI standpoint, I mean, for us, you're you're wonderful because, as you know, we what we try to do is to find the the people. <clears throat> not necessarily the organisations who get a lot of publicity. We like to try and because there's ev there's needs everywhere, as as you found out over the years. Everywhere, Paul, and uh, not necessarily big organisations like this. I know you have come out with me where we've just seen a small family where the husband had a bad accident and is unable to work. So TFI and PSC have donated some money to enable them to advance forward on whatever direction was necessary. And the need out there for small families, we call this a big family, which what it is now, is immense. And we can get rid of any amount of money that we can be given. Well, great effort, and it's good that you're getting all the support from all the different people that you've mentioned. I'd like to thank them as well, uh, if, they're, if they're looking at this interview. I'd like to thank the Nigel Oaks, the Growling Swan, Tier 5, well... I assume you'll be looking in, but <laughs> and uh, Walter Walter Buff won't be, but his friend over there certainly will be. And I just like to thank them for all their efforts, and long may it continue. Paul. All right, we're going to wrap it up here at the Glory Hut Foundation, which is also called uh, Rak Puan. Now, if you are interested in coming along here, <coughs> we're out by the lake. So that if you're heading out towards uh, Lake Maprachan and the lake would be on your right hand side, so which is sort of the extension of Chayapu and Viti, then you take Soy 29, which is a tiny little road on the left hand side as you're heading out towards the lake. And uh, you go up Soy 29 and went, just when you think you've went the wrong direction because it looks like the road's going to run out, then you'll find it because it's just, just right at, basically at the end of the road. This is Paul and William out here in the community doing fantastic work with these wonderful, beautiful people. See you again. Bye-bye.